Wine, it's Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back, a.k.a. The People's Champ. Yo, check this out, y'all. Yes, I seen the uh, video what Zig did. Yes, I seen what uh, Percy did. I seen a few things. Y'all been sending me stuff with uh, Caddy O'Teal. But I'm not about to entertain none of them people, y'all. I'm feeling good, fast, and months around. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do it. A lot of that stuff not even worth my time. Um, and let me just say this, for those who wanted me to go at uh, Jig and go at uh, Big Head, I respect what Jig and Big Head said. That's the reason why I'm not going to attack them, because they spoke as men and from their point of view. So that's why I'm not going to entertain that. Now, let me get into these hot boys, because people been asking me about the hot boys. Now, let me break it down like this. Dooney. Was born and raised in the 17 wall, Pigeon Town. Doing his jet black, goes top and bottom, always was a money go getter. Always liked to dress. Then you got Sterling, grew up in the third wall, I want to say around Jackson Avenue or around Telly Hankton and way. Always liked to rob, get money, fresh player. He had one of those nonchalant attitudes like, Whatever y'all want to do, let's do it. You know, he was one of them. Mosquito, flamboyant. Always want to be seen, stay fresh, you know, get money guy. And then you got Terrence, the good boy, the good one out the crew. But uh, let me give y'all a story because they've been there. Man, what's up? Now, let me say this here. There are other hot boys uh, before us. That, I mean, not before that was with us. It was a lot of us, but um, a lot of them had branched off, started going to jail, move, you know, doing what they do. So just us four stuck together because you still had Stone, uh, Disco. You still had those, those, you know, those two homies in the project. And they were still considered hot boys. You had Skibu. You had a lot, all the homies in the project that hung, you know, right there with us. But just us four was the one that hung together every day. Like my best friend, Hank. Um, But, um, yeah, so Dooney was one of the first ones to get on, you know, with that work. We all had just come home, like, around 93. Yeah, right, 93. Dooney had just beat his murder charge. Sterling had a robbery, home robbery, and something else. And I think Mosquito just come off a drug case. And then I had a temp murder. I had just come off the temp murder. So um, when I come in the project, they was already roaming. It was already clicked up. And uh, I, I spoke about it before, the way... All right, I met Dooney in juvenile jail. Dooney was the big homie for the 17th Ward. So he was familiar who I was. So um, when he went home, he started hustling, getting money. And um, he caught a body back there. The people we caught the body with, their family wasn't going for that. So he had migrated on to that know you. Sterling uh, had a baby, uh, a girl back there, a baby mother lived back there. Lived right there on Six and Willow. Dooney auntie lived on Willow, and my mother lived on Willow. So when Dooney got out, Sterling got out, they met through a, a guy that was going to rob somebody, and they was in a car or something. But then Dooney was like, man, what's Sterling? I ain't going to let Sterling, because he had heard good stuff about Sterling. Because, you know, when you go on robberies, he wasn't guaranteed to come back. So, um, you know, he wanted to go with uh, Sterling. Sterling, I'm, I'm Sterling right here. So they met up. So they would run down the street, holler, call, I mean, go to my mother's house, when I call home, I would talk to them on the phone. Uh, Mosquito and I met uh, back in the 80s. I, I couldn't stand him. He had that like, one goal in his mouth. He was arrogant, cocky. He used to get on that bicycle and wheel that bike on one wheel, blocks. Go, right? Um, he, used to wear these, <laughs> he had these Chuck Taylors. It was like a size 12. He wore a size 6. He had these big old Chuck Taylors. He used to have them tied up tight. He used to wear like eight pair of socks on one side, eight pair. I can't make this up, y'all. Eight pair of socks on the other side. But he stayed fly with the polo shirts, the bows. He was the only boy, as a matter of fact, out of all the girls out of his uh, household. But um, we would uh, lay down, hook up. How did we start hanging? Oh, through this girl named Chantel out the Magnolia. Because her and I went to school together. And Mosquito and her started going together. And I used to call her my sister. So I would hang out. He would come there. And we, and we would go in the project. Then we got to go home. We go home the same way. But my house was first, and then his house was like two blocks away from mine. Like one, two, actually three blocks away from my house, four blocks around the corner. 
So anyway, um, but it was like short little block right there. But we would walk home together. And so that's how him and I started kicking. And um, how all of us come together was uh, one of my homies named Golden Eye Rob, one of the Dooney homeboys who was at the uh, Mardi Gras. We got the Mac 11s on us. He see his eight ball jacket. Dooney come talk to us because we always in juvenile jail together. We, Dooney made sure the beef was, it wasn't no beef, it was squash, but the guy didn't get his jacket back. But we was out there wild with the Mac 11. It was three of us. We had the Macs, and that was that. Um, Sterling was looking for Mosquito and I because Mosquito had shot one of his friends. The guy was trying to rob Stur um, Mosquito, so he defended himself. Then we, it was some more stuff happened, so Sterling looking for uh, Lil T, me, and Mosquito. He he, 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 had, he was walking from the Magnolia one day on White Buck Wilson School on Ferret. He drove Pezzles on a bike, rode Pezzles on a bike, and he started, who that is? We like, who that is? We up all the 22, he had the 38. Who that is? Who that is? Who that is? Who that? All that. I'm Sterling, well, I'm Terry, I'm T, you know, I'm a ski. Oh, y'all the one who shot such up? Like, yeah. So he like, he disrespected. And um he had got we had got uh we had ran into each other again in ninety two when I went to the Paris, ninety two, ninety three. I went on a tier with him and um his girlfriend and I was real cool out the project and she had told him to make sure I was okay because I had come from juveniles, yeah, they had tried me as an adult. I had a murder and attempt murder. So uh, Sterling and I became, became cool on C3 in the parish, OPP. So now um, Mosquito and I are already running together. So now, uh, you know, in 93, all of us decided just to start a click tight running together. Then um, when I come home, Duna was the first one to get the plug to get on first. Uh, of course, you know, Birdman, you know, stepped in and showed love, but... Um, Right before that, Dooney had, uh, I'm going to tell y'all that later. Should I give y'all that now? Because that's a whole different story. I just was introducing the hot boys again to the to the people who don't know who they are. Um, PB hit me up asking me what's up. Then let me ask, let me answer this because people was like, well, who was the, the uh, who was stepping the most? That was somebody asked me that today on Instagram. Dooney was very wild. Dooney liked to fight. Bust that gun, Dooney had a temper, but he loved to smoke weed. Sterling was one of the more laid back, sneaky, cool ones. Quiet, but he would, if you with it, I'm with it, let's get it. That's how he was. Mosquito loved to go out. Everybody knew Mosquito, he's going to be at the clubs, he's going to be out at the block party. He might go, boy, it's going down, they out here twerking, they out here pouncing, it's going down, boy, you better come out here, boy. Da, da, da. So Mosquito going to be out everywhere. You're going to see Mosquito all over. Everybody know Mosquito, they're going to tell you he was all over the place. Block parties, concerts, DJ, Mosquito there. Like to dress, he going to dress fly, he going to be there. Me, I was more cool, laid back. Because I was always been small, so I was never the, rah, the more aggressive one. I was one of the ones, I played a lot of defense. You violate, you're going to get crushed. Because um, like I said, I was always small, skinny, and, you know, little something but uh i can't like it's hard to say who stepped the most that's something that people who know us would have to tell you all like oh that was them they did this or oh, this one you know i think this one because we all had different personality that came together and formed brothers right um i know we did have a, a, a bind that we never had sex with each other girlfriend without asking like what i mean by this is this if it was a freak that came in the hood, we're going to ask, man, is it get how you live? Now, we might know she a freak. She might be freaking in the other hoods. But if I brought her in a project and I ain't want to hit, I'd be like, nah, nah, leave that alone. That's going to be my little person. All right, they, they respect it. But if they be like, man, what's up? Is it get how you live? And I'd be like, yeah, get, get how you live. And they're they going to go at it. Like, what's up, man? Well, you know, some bros went for us. Some of them like, nah. Even though they was freak, they still were like, nah, because I met with your boy now. You know, we had that policy. Like, we never, we never had sex with our main, with each other main girlfriend, wifey or main girl. We never violated that code. Um, we wore each other clothes. We hung out just about every day, but Dooney would go in the rat hole. So people who know, they know Dooney used to go hang out in the rat hole because he had shop in the rat hole. The rat hole was like a block outside the Melfamine Project. You walk right down up there, you, you go run to the rat hole. It's right there. Dooney hustled right there, but he would go back to the know you. That's where he laid his head at. Um, started and stayed in the know you 1448. So that's more than 24 seven, y'all. He just 
in the Noya all night flight. Like to hustle, hustle, get money, just chill in the Magnolia. Mosquito, he going to get in that uh, car that one of them Del Monte, he's going to be in. He going to ride all over. He going to be uptown, down. He all over the place. And me, I just was like, you know, I go by different females, go ride around. I'm always on a hunt trying to find, you know, how we going to come up and get some money? Who we going to jack? Who we going to ride? Who we going to dig? That was my spiel. But um, I can't say who was the most violent, who was the most, you know, who stepped the most, who was, I, I can't. Now, if we go with fighting, now I'm going to be honest with y'all. If we go with fighting, I'm going to have to put Dwayne Sterling up there. Now, who's the best fighter out of them two? I don't know. Because we never had a fight with one another. Now, I started got mad one time with the fussing and cussing. But he ain't, put his, he ain't want to fight. Um, not saying I want to fight him. But, I, like I say, I don't know when it comes to fighting. It, it's going to be out of doing this third. I'm going to give it to them too. It's going to be out of doing this third. Then mosquito am last. Um, but I don't know who had the best set of hands out of doing this third. I, because I've seen, I seen Dewey get down in juvenile jail. I seen Sterling get down on the street. I seen Mosquito get down too. But Dooney more wild with his rumbling. Sterling had style with his fighting. And Mosquito just ain't care. He just fight. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um <laughs> but, you, but you rarely seen Mosquito fight. You hardly you would hardly see that. Um he was more of a gunman. Yeah. So uh, you know. If you have any more questions, y'all hit me up. I'm going to try to answer as much as I can. Um, I'm running into a story what what happened uh, with one of the Dooney clientele. With one of, I mean, one of the guys who's used to uh, score from Dooney. Y'all know the motto, say no to drill, let's stop the violence, put the guns down. Beware of HIV and AIDS. Thank y'all for the love and support. We got the nonprofit, they need us. We got the Instagram, they need us, Third Ward. Um, make sure y'all download the Roku channel, Tyrant Gangster William Network. Thank y'all for the love and support. I'm out. Wow.